Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be a fall homeworks haul. I am so excited to share with you guys what I got because I've been looking at homeworks candles for quite some time and just been really wanting to do a fall haul ever since they brought out their candles in like June, they brought out the fall candles. So finally got my hands on them. Um, I did do a my first homeworks haul actually earlier this year. I'll link that up above, I believe like April or May. Um, so kind of like spring to summer transition. And I love the scents that I've gone through so far. I love the ones that I've gotten to try. So I really wanted to try some more and also a different um, packaging size. So I did get three four wick candles and I got two three wick candles. So let's go ahead and get into the haul. So let's start with the four wick candles. And I think, I think all of these are brand new. So the first one I have is Harvest Bake Shop and this is the gorgeous packaging. I apologize if the ring light is kind of glaring in there. Um, and this is the new type of lid, so it's not as shimmery. I will show you, I have an old lid on another candle, but this is a new lid. Um, and it's supposed to be a little bit thinner, not as good quality, <laughs> but you know, whatever. We're, we're nearing a recession, so makes sense. But for Harvest Bake Shop, the notes are, Creamy pumpkin, crushed gingerbread, sugared molasses, and whipped buttercream. This one sounds amazing. I thought it would be great for like Thanksgiving time, but honestly, I could burn this anytime, right? Like right now, honestly. That molasses is so yummy. I have made a vintage like 1890s gingerbread um, recipe that I got from a children's cookbook, actually, totally random. Um, but yeah, I've made gingerbread cookies from scratch using molasses and this is what it smells like but I definitely get that like creamy pumpkin in there it's almost as if you mix like a can of pumpkin in that recipe so delicious I definitely see why they put like some nuts and some like brown sugar on the sides because you definitely get like a warm rich bakery scent to this it is so amazing and it does have the wick um, dust cover just so they don't get you know, pushed around. But yeah, it smells amazing. It has a beautiful like butterscotch looking color. And I cannot wait to test this one out and see how it performs because if I'm smelling it correctly, I feel like it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna smell like I'm making gingerbread cookies, but not, okay, don't think of it as just gingerbread. Like it's not a Christmas scent. It is very much like a pumpkin gingerbread. I don't know, it's amazing. So that's the first one. And then the next one I have, I think this is actually a returning one. This is Farm Stand Pumpkin, and that's why this one has the older lid style. So you can see here, it's very mirrored. I've gotten my fingerprints all over it, and you can see them all, <laughs> but this one is not mirrored. So you can tell on that. So the notes on Farm Stand Pumpkin are pumpkin puree, nutmeg, cinnamon stick, and sugared tonka bean. This one to me is like the ultimate pumpkin scent. This is better than Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin at Bath & Body Works. To me, that one is like a little artificial and like way too heavy on like a red hot cinnamon. Not the right cinnamon that I like, I don't know. I really don't enjoy Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. This is so good, oh my gosh. It really kind of just smells like a craft store, to be honest. It is such a nice and honestly not super like hit you in the face kind of scent. So nothing crazy, but just an amazing, simple pumpkin scent. I feel like this is a really, really nice one. This is gonna be so good when I'm in the mood for pumpkin. This is like, it's scratching that itch. It is amazing. Oh my God. So that is this one. And the last four wick that I got is Mocha Chino Crumb Cake. You guys, I was so excited when I saw they came out with this one. Look how cute the packaging is. It's basically just like a, um, a morning crumb cake on top. This one smells so good. Okay, the notes are vanilla crumb cake, mocha latte, creamy caramel, and powdered sugar. Mm, this smells like a cafe. It smells just like a cafe. Like you can smell them baking croissants, baking breads. It smells like a little like bakery-ish, not just coffee, but you get that like roasting coffee in the background. And it's not overpowering like Paris Cafe would be. 
although it does kind of have the same vibe as Paris Cafe, I think it's elevated with that um, spice cake note that gives it that bakery, like bready element. It's kind of reminding me of Paris Cafe and Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla, that combo that they came out with during SAS um, that Bath & Body Works came out with. It's giving me those vibes, but like a hundred times better. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to burn this one because I'm obsessed with that um, Bath & Body Works blend right now. I've been burning that nonstop. I, had, I bought three backups during SAS and I think this might be very similar and more elevated. Oh my gosh, just absolutely amazing. It smells exactly like you're walking into a cafe. So yummy. Okay, and then I did get two of these little three wick ones and that's what they look like here. The first one is Cozy Weekend. So I like to have one of these type of like fresh air, laundry kind of scents in my house whenever it just kind of, I don't know, it makes me feel like upscale. It makes me feel a little more sophisticated. I don't know. It's also really nice whenever I have company over because they think like my, ho my house always smells like that, which it doesn't, but you know. Um, cozy Weekend is Cozy Woods Roasted Almond, Clover Honey, and Vanilla. I definitely get like the woods and there's like a, I almost want to say like an amber note to it. It's very upscale and like you get, you do really get that honey. It is so funny how, how you get that honey note. Super nice, amazing scent. It's not overpowering. I feel like this is gonna be a really great one to go in the house and I just love this. I can't even tell if you can see, <laughs> if you can see the packaging properly, but it's, oh, there you go. It's gorgeous. So that's this one. And the very last candle that I got is Deep Dish Apple Pie, which I think is also a returner from last year. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. The notes on this one are gooey apple nectar, cinnamon, vanilla, and pie crust. This one's so good, you guys. So good. Oh my gosh. If you've ever had Bath & Body Works warm apple pie, it's the same pie filling that's in that one, but this crust note is absolutely amazing. It is like a cinnamon spice crust. And I did attempt one year to hand make my own pie from scratch, make the dough, make the filling, all of that stuff from scratch one year. And that's really what it smells like in the end. It wasn't very successful, honestly. Let me know down below if you guys have a really good apple pie recipe that you use. Um, but the one that I used, it just turned out okay. It tasted the exact same as if I would have bought it from the store, which was super disappointing. I thought it was gonna be like melting your mouth amazing, but it wasn't. This one smells so good. Definitely is straight up apple pie but with a little bit more cinnamon than normal. Like you can definitely smell that crust, that cinnamony crust. Oh my gosh, so amazing. So I cannot wait to burn this one. I feel like this one's gonna be perfect right around Thanksgiving. If we have people over or like Friendsgiving or something, this would be amazing. And I'm curious to see how these little three wicks throw compared to the four wicks. So I will let you guys know about that later on, but that is everything for my homeworks haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below if you have tried out homeworks before and what your thoughts are, and if you're looking forward to any of their scents that they've come out with recently. I know they actually just brought out like five more scents this past week, which I wish I would have known about before I did this haul, but that's okay. But yeah, that's everything from me. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.